Good day, good day. How the hunk are ya? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan O. Yeah, that, or otherwise known as Dan Winchell, but I like you to call me Dan O. That's right. <laughs> You're crazy Land Rover loving dude. Yeah, Roverland. This is the channel that's all about anything and everything Land Rover. We're looking at. Uh, my toy collection first and uh, uh other things but uh do you know what this is yeah i got it whoa, whoa, whoa i got a couple of these buggers uh we're gonna talk about them and uh well do you know what it is well let's take a look bam there it is this is a matchbox super kings this is a k64 Range Rover, it's a 1977 Lesney product of England. That's right, we've got ourselves a Super King. Now this happens to be uh, one of my nicest models that I have of this casting. Um, it, in, in retrospect of that, I am still missing parts and pieces. Yes, um, there are uh, things that belong well, I don't believe they belong inside, but there is um, dudes. I think there's dudes that go with this one. And a trailer. I think there's a trailer too. Yes, there's a trailer to this one. But it does have a moving part. The rear tailgate does, does go down. Uh, I'm sure that you could supposedly take that ladder off, but we are not going to take that ladder off. There's some horns. Uh, if you guys uh, ever do watch... Uh, Mr. Man from Down Under, the big MMM, he does uh, some restoration on some matchboxes, and those are some pretty familiar horns. Yeah, some of his recent uh, episodes, you've seen those horns. Uh, well, let's talk about this. So, um, this particular one, as we say, is the um, K64. All right, the whole... Um, this model in the Super Kings range started with this one, the K64, okay, in 1979, and this is called the Range Rover Fire Control, and so it came out in 1979. Uh, like I say, yeah, it's supposed to have a trailer to it, I believe some dudes, and uh, white, um, White uh, hosiery. <laughs> did I? Cheese balls. Did I just say hosiery? Yeah, that's right. All right. All right. Number 12 on the hood. Fire control. Beautiful model. This is like in mint condition. I just, yeah, I wish I did have the trailer to it and uh, little the accessories. Uh, the ladder is broke. I think that's uh, just uh, kind of one of those things that happens with, with age. But, uh, the, the two bottles that we're going to be looking at that I have have the same roof rack um, apparatus on it. Now, if you do any searching, and talking about that, talking about searching, I did some of my searching on Fandom Wiki and as well as the BMACA org. Um, yeah, they, they really go into it and they have a whole special category of just called Matchbox Super Kings. So you can click down on that. That website is uh, really kind of cool. So let's go down the road of Super Kings. And boy, I tell you, I wanted to do this video and I was pulling together uh, information and stuff and it, it was almost overwhelming. But anyway, this is where it all started for, our, for the Super King Range Rover was this fire control. So we're going to set that down. We're going to take a look at this bugger. They're really kind of nice. they got some nice suspension to them, you know. Um, this one obviously is missing the ladder. And uh, the, I don't know, someone bit that? Oh, cheese balls. Let's get that kid something to eat. Holy cow, we're eating our toys, Mom and Dad. Come on. Holy. <laughs> the kids are eating the toys. All right, anyway, it's got a nice pump pump on the front. It's got dials. You can see that where you attach the hose there. Got some nice running lights on the bottom. 
This is really nice. They all came with uh, the uh, yellow windows, as far as I know. Uh, it does have an interior in it. Uh, obviously, this one has lost its decals, uh, but it's a metal base, a plastic tow hook. So I'm surprised that's still, a, I mean, we're eating the beacon, man. I'm surprised we didn't eat the tow hook for goodness gracious sakes. Oh my, but anyway, got some nice detailing back there in the back for the uh, apparatus gears and stuff like that. Some more uh, stuff on the side here, the dials. Now, if you're a fireman, you know exactly what that top uh, right dial is for right there, you know. <laughs> But anyway, so there we go. That's the Fire Chief uh, start uh, released in 1979. Now, as far as I know, as far as what uh, my research had showed, is uh, this uh, was the next one that came out. And uh, now this one, as you see, does uh, have some different stuff going on to it, but it's kind of the same, but kind of different. The roof racks are different. Um, just a little bit. This one had a circle thing. I wonder if that had a beacon thing on there. Yeah, that did. That had a beacon, uh, uh, like a spotlight thing on there that probably spun around. This one's just got uh, a chest for your pickaxes and your shovels and stuff like that. But this one was uh, released in 1982. And as you see, they added on a mirror to the casting and uh kind of nice kind of nice now this one has a clear window to it oh yeah by the way i found this one locally at my uh toma walmart or toma goodwill yeah that one and the same right their prices are never mind anyway dollar 99 i was pretty tickled because i knew i didn't have that and i scoured i scoured this store the whole toy department to see if i could find the trailer or anything else that went with this i scoured it now this one is a little bit you know it doesn't have the uh attachments or whatnot in the back there uh so you can see inside very very nice now, like i say now this is a super king oh let's take a look at the bottom while we're at it and you see it's got a much larger uh stamping there of uh, the the uh, model K64 uh, 989, excuse me. So it's the K64 is this body style, uh, but this is the 89. Once again, full metal uh, undercarriage. It has the, this. This is plastic. Now this one was metal. This is a. Uh, I believe that's metal. Yeah, that was metal tailgate on this one. Uh, but when we came to here, they, they took that and made that plastic. Still had the tow hitch, that great big tow hitch. Holy bananas. Yeah, that hook, hook a banana there. But this is in really decent shape. Like I say, I was surprised coming from a thrift store, Goodwill. It still had its mirrors on there. Uh, I don't believe, I, I think, yeah, there is something missing on top there. But uh, don't ask me. Okay, I'm going to try it. Killer, Kielder, Kielder Forest. I think that's how you say that. Kielder Forest. Um, and yeah, this one had, um, well, I don't remember what the pictures had. Did they have ladders or something? I don't even remember. But this had a trailer too and uh, had some uh, fire fighting equipment or something like that. Uh, now they changed the front end to that one. Uh, they went to the uh, uh, gray instead of chrome, and they took uh, the pumper off and put a big old honking winch. I think that's a mile marker winch on there. Yeah, if you know anything about that, that's that's a hydraulic winch right there. But anyway, that's the uh, the other one that I have. Now there is a whole series, and I am just uh, would love to get my hands on. There's a K, uh, let's see, it would be K97 that came out. And uh, what was that one? I think that was the police one, uh, red and, or white and green, uh, that was uh, in the Super Fast series. I think it's the same casting. They just switched things around. Then they came out with a K64. And uh, 
that, and I, you know, just awesome. But I, I, I don't never think I'll ever get them. I don't know. But uh, oh, that doesn't go all the way in the front. They, they got that blocked off. So I think they put stuff in there. But anyway, what did it, was that a? Where's the steering wheel on that? I, I can't even find the steering wheel on this. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. We gotta, we gotta know if this is a left hooker or a right hooker. You know what? There isn't a steering wheel in there, folks. I think you're supposed to use mind control. <laughs> that doesn't have a steering wheel in it. This one, that one doesn't either. We can get that glare out the window. It's got seats. You can sit down, but you can't steer. Yeah, that sounds like my life. Just hold, sit out, hold on, and here we go. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, but uh, finally, uh, K65A was uh, one of the last ones. Uh, the 64 was uh, uh, blue and white, had some, uh, just, yeah, just go over to BMCA. Uh, if I get more, we'll do more on it. But this is what I have here today in my collection is, uh, this is the k 6489 the Killer Forest D284, which is a very nice, I know we're missing some attachments here, but this is, like I said, pretty mint condition here. Just a very nice one. And then we have the, which is, this was uh, 70, 82, excuse me, and this is 79. Very heavy models. These are pretty big. These are a pretty big model. Uh, let's just take a quick measurement. You know how I love to measure things. Uh, what do we got there? So, you know, that's pert near four inches, a little over four inches, you know. So uh, it's a pretty good hefty model. Um, you know, I don't really remember uh, if it told us what kind of scale model this is. Um, man. Yeah, I don't think it ever says and I never came across anything in uh, the research there that what give, really gave these um, what scale they were but anyway so there you go some really nice ones one maybe that I could uh, restore or something or something but a really nice kind of pair of trucks there I'm glad to have those in my collection all right, before I go, I got to tell you folks, once again, you got to stop over to uh, Roverland Facebook page, check out some cars that are for sale. I'm going to be posting more. If you're looking for something in particular, let me know. These cars here, I've got quite a few of, quite a few of. I kind of hoarded them, but this is what I hoarded them for, is so that we can uh, share here on this platform. All right. Well, there you go, folks. I hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, Roverland. It's been really fun. But uh, you know what? I got to go. I got to keep the slow traffic right. And have a great Rover day.